The plants that brighten your home for the holidays can also be toxic. In today's Health Watch, Local 3's Connie Feldman tells us which common plants to keep away from your children and pets. You've probably heard poinsettias are dangerous for kids and dogs. And that's true. Eating it could cause you and your pets to vomit or feel nauseous. It's not deadly, but there are some common plants that can cause some serious harm. Here are some that are better kept out of reach of children and pets. From the big to the small to the light and the colorful, just about everyone has plants inside their home. I love plants of all kinds. I have a little greenhouse. I like the tropical ones probably the most. But there could be danger lurking behind the beauty. Feed me, crab on, feed me now! Okay, maybe not dangerous like this, but some plants carry a chemical called calcium oxalate that is virtually impossible for children and animals to break down, causing kidney stones. One such problem plant, the daffodil. The center contains lycarine, which, when ingested, this will cause nausea, vomiting, and extreme irritation of the mouth. The peace lily may be tropical, but it also contains calcium oxalate crystals that kills cats when fully ingested. And although aloe vera is thought to calm burns, it also contains saponin, causing vomiting and low blood sugar in children and animals. Another plant to watch out for, the bird of paradise. These orange and blue beauties contain hydrogen cyanide that has also been known to be poisonous to cats. Lastly is the leafy green pothos plant. This popular window friend contains insoluble calcium oxalates that can kill animals on contact. For the indoor plant lovers, try swapping out your toxic plants for the Hyworthia zebra plant or Boston fern or spider plant. They all thrive indoors and are safe for all members of your family. And that's your Health Watch. I'm Connie Fellman, Local 3 News.